good morning divine masculines divine feminine how are you all doing this is a reading for the divine masculines and let's see what's going on in their mind space well i would say keep it all positive uh, huge shifts huge changes and the dark side I don't want to talk about it, but you all know what's happening in this world. And uh, it has nothing, but nothing to do with Russia. That's the only thing I'll, I, I, will, um, I will come clean about. Because it doesn't have anything to do with Russia. It's another diversion. The bombing is happening by other countries. And if, if I say other countries, you know what and who is in control. And a majority of people don't see it. Okay? So, um, believe what you want to believe in every case. <clears throat> but this is what I saw and what the messages were. And, um, and I'm going with what Spirit says. You know, it's it's a it's predicted already for so many, so many, so many years by the Native Americans. So we all know what's going on. But let's go and see what's co coming up for uh, the Divine Masculines in mind space. Uh, there's also something. My phone crashed. Hoo -hoo. He couldn't fly and he didn't like the tiles he landed on. So my phone crashed and there would be people out there that uh, are watching me and uh, sometimes connecting with me. Um, it could be that um, I could, can't connect with you for a while. So if you don't hear anything from me, then you know that uh, this is the case, okay? That I don't abandon you, but that I'm really uh, in this space of letting my phone fixed, if it's still possible, okay? In the mind space, the divine masculine is refusing to see. What is he refusing to see? Refusing to see what's really going on in this world. Uh, what is uh is refusing to see what is in front of him refusing to see uh, to go to the light it could be that there is um is a fear of going to the higher realms um and not knowing if he's guarded or not if he is supported or not so it is really more uh, the case for him to stay in the um, comfort zone than really, you know, um, going upwards. And he, he doesn't want to see um, what is in front of him. And that could mean in, uh, in the twin flame relationship or whatever. Uh, he's just it's 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 not about the doubt I hear it's it's about uh, refusing to see that um, in interaction with the divine feminine that there is uh, there that there is so much possible and he is just refusing to see it he doesn't want to see it he doesn't want to know uh, he doesn't want to go to the light. He doesn't want to uh, connect with his spirit guide. He just wants to be grounded and he just wants to be in this space now. Okay, so what is, his, what is in his heart space? In his heart space is the love abounds. And uh, this, came, this card came earlier... Uh, earlier uh, last week also about the uh, what connect them in into this uh, twin flame union that they see and have the uh, heart space open and uh, think and feel about the same things from the heart space so um, 
could be that uh, also for the for the inner feminine you know uh, she knows in her heart space he knows in his heart space but the divine masculine is refusing to see it okay it's just don't want to look at it it's like yeah i'm okay where i am now and um i don't want i i also hear i don't want help i don't want uh, uh people around me leave me alone but this can also be uh, a sign of um going in a, in a depression so be aware of yourself uh also i have no goal you know i have no purpose so what what is uh, that all about so he needs to go to his heart space that if if he's thinking there is no purpose you know, uh, uh, then it will be difficult for him uh, to connect with the Divine Feminine uh, within. So, um, there, there, there is a purpose and there's always a purpose and this, that purpose comes from your heart space. What is, um, what is your passion? What is your creation? What is... Um, your creativity what is making your heart beat faster and um, and that's 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 where he has to look you know that the love will come back into his life and and don't don't shut it out of himself but you know reconnect with with the feminine again because it could be that there was so much uh, hurt um, from the feminine that there is a lot of di distrust you know a lot of distrust uh, within the in the masculine and the heart will open that again so um, if I'm looking at it um, in, in a higher perspective and I ask you know spirit what what spirits to, to say about this and, and spirit is saying you know it could be mm, that the divine masculine is lied to so many times and deceived so many times that he has tr trust issues in everyone around him. So it could be that he doesn't trust what the divine feminine says and uh, that he is pushing the divine feminine away because it's a re reminder of, of the past. So the only solution is going to the heart space and solve that problem within. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what, what I, I have, that there is a trust issue in the divine masculine, in his thinking, and, um, and then thinking, okay, you know, I let it all go. But when he goes to his heart space and he goes within, you know, this space, then everything will open again and, and love will come in again. So, there are a lot of things at the moment with the masculine and it's also what I hear, what's going on in the world now is getting triggered uh, in the masculine because... Um, the masculine energy is coming from uh, old war, war wounds in the masculine line. So uh, if your father or your grandfather or your father before was in the army or, you know, um, was in the military and uh, has been sent out to war, all these uh, unconscious wounds are coming up now. So know that, that there are also some things playing out for the masculine now that uh, is getting triggered or getting in the subconscious mind of the ancestral family line is getting activated. And, and only love can, you know, 
can can bring it together so what is his higher self telling him rest and reconsider everything rest and reconsider you need to rest you need to reconsider what you're doing you need to reconsider uh, the choices that you made and let the light come in let the light come in and and let the light come in through your heart space let it go to your heart first you know that you don't receive it from above but that you feel it in front of you and maybe you feel it from the divine feminine and that you have a feeling from Ooh, I need to back off because this, this, this loving energy is too strong. She gives too much and you're not used to it. So um, ask the light to come in from to the front, to your heart space. Okay, take enough rest, reconsider everything what you're going through. Um, know that what you're going through is always for the best of you because um, universe never steps in if it's not necessary then it will push you forward but if it stops you then there's a huge transformation necessary in your life and some people go through those um, through those stops um, multiple times in their lives you know, um, and every time when you, you're choosing the wrong thing, you ca you, you're getting stopped, you know, you're getting stopped. So, um, and if, if, if there is a huge ascension necessary in your life, then, um, then you get bigger, um, bigger tragedies in your life. Okay. So. This is for the Divine Masculine and his higher self saying, okay, you need to rest, you need to uh, ac accumulate, you need uh, to reconsider your thoughts, you need to reconsider your decisions um, and, and let the love into your heart space because otherwise your mind get blocked, okay? What is his higher self saying about the Divine Feminine? What is his higher self saying about the Divine Feminine? What is his higher self saying towards the Divine Feminine? Third Eye Third Eye Chakra You see her You feel her your your energy is searching for her and you're you're looking you're searching for her in the realms and it could be that um ah that's a beautiful one it could be that the the the, the masculine is searching for her in the fifth dimensional realm but that her masculine energy is you know blocking it that her masculine energy is blocking it because you need to do it on your own. You need to go to that heart space on your own. And you need that rest and you need to reconsider. When I hear when the time is right, I will pull another card for the divine... Um, how he sees the Divine Feminine is a leader. Um, that's beautiful. Because um, he sees that she stepped out of her shadow side and stepped in her leader role. That she stepped in to the leader. That she is wearing that emperor. That she's taking the lead in everything what she's doing. And she's not letting herself be guided anymore by uh, the third dimensional realm but takes the lead for her life her love life everything that she needs in her life and that she um be because the divine feminine doesn't talk a lot about herself 
about the things she can and uh, the things she performs. Um, now other people see that she is taking the lead and that she can lead. So uh, that's what the Divine Masculine sees in, in the Divine Feminine. <clears throat> That's his higher self saying she is she stepped out of her shadow self and stepped in her leader role. <clears throat> the divine masculine and feminine. So it could be that the masculine uh, side of the feminine is leading at the moment. Um, I hear leading by the heart. Leading by the heart, what she knows and what she, what she is um, able to do. So, <clears throat> what is his uh, uncomfortability nurture? Uh, maybe it's uh, uncomfortable now for him to feel nurtured. Uh, uncomfortable for him now uh, to uh, receive that nurturing energy from the feminine so um, that's his uncomfortability it's it's almost like he is disconnected with nature itself so he needs to get into nature more you know and and not letting himself be hold back by emotions or whatever because those emotions can be transmuted um, in nature i hear the, those emotions can be transmuted in nature and that's really what he needs i i hear you need to grab yourself by the collar and push yourself outside because it's it's almost a nature heals go to the forest it's it's almost like he needs the forest go to that forest and heal yourself and and feel that energy that you really um, need at this moment otherwise um, th there is a huge resistance on it so you need to go beyond the control um, of the third dimension. Wow. If you, if there's anything you need from the divine feminine, you need to ask. That's what I hear. You need to ask because she can she can nurture you. And you, if you go into the heart space, you know then that it's good for you. But it could be that if he's going to the heart space or uh, and he let himself be nurtured by the divine feminine, that his mind is getting messed up about it. So he wants to keep it on a distance. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Heart chakra, what is going to do about it? He is open, he's going to open his heart chakra. Um, he's going to open his heart chakra because he wants that energy to come in. He wants to be healed. He needs to be healed. So this is really... Um, and he sees that she is leading, that she is leading from the heart. She is not leading from the mind. She's leading from the heart. And she is doing the best as she can with everything. So uh, that's what he's going to do about it. So what is the higher self saying about this twin flame relationship for this week? Wow, that's amazing. Sadness and isolation. Coming out of isolation. Climbing up. 
coming into the light and and that's the right time you need to go out you need to let yourself be led you know uh, and i hear that the masculine needs the divine feminine at this moment so uh, really really uh, take knowledge of this as divine masculine that you you know that you are um, taking this leap of faith getting out of that isolation even if it's bit by bit take the divine feminine and make take the divine feminine by the hand or let the divine feminine lead you and nurture you into nature so um you can you can come out of that 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 inner inner circle it's it's like yeah you're coming out of it out of the sadness out of the isolation because there's nobody who can help you if you're hurt by a divine feminine that a divine feminine can heal okay so this is it so um yeah this is it for this week and i hope you had a great time uh i hope I give you all the blessings with everything that's going on big big gratitude also for the divine masculine where he's going through uh at this moment um you know the the subconscious mind and uh, the ancestral line of the masculine of the war energy gets triggered and maybe um there maybe there can be come healing on you know if there's yeah let there be healing for the divine masculine at this moment for all the masculines who are out at war for all the divine feminines that has to be in fear not knowing if the divine masculine is coming back from war you know from all the people all the innocent people that get hurt because of power you know and it's not it's not about the people and everybody knows it but you know the the dark forces are always eager to sacrifice everything for themselves so we know this and i cl close with this and i bless you all and have a great great week thank you Bye-bye.